Welcome, welcome back to my channel in case this is your first time here hi my name is linda and on this channel we do everything home so guys today as the title reads we are going to be cleaning my kitchen appliances and this is something i do on a weekly basis so stay tuned to see how i normally do this guys Norm guys, whenever I'm doing any type of cleaning in my kitchen, I always start with my sink. If I have some dishes in the sink, I will always always start with that. And this day, guys, it's no different. I have some dishes here. I'm going to start with that before I focus on my kitchen appliances, guys. So, guys, let me know how often do you clean your kitchen appliances? These are things to do with your kettle, your fridge, your cooker, uh, also you know, just the kitchen appliances that you have at your house. How often do you like normally deep clean them? You know, apart from like wiping them on a daily basis, do you ever take time to go in and just, you know, give them a thorough cleaning or a deep cleaning? Let me know down in the comment sections, guys. Allow me guys to welcome our new subscribers before we continue with today's video. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for seeing me worthy of your subscription. I do not take it for granted guys and thank you so much for seeing me worthy of your subscription. May God bless you guys and for my returning subscribers guys I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. I just pray that God continues to bless each and every one of you guys. And as for my premier gang you guys know I love you. I really love you guys and appreciate you so much. So may God continue blessing you as you also bless my channel guys. So guys to clean my kitchen appliances normally I will just use my white vinegar and water and a little bit of soap dish because you know i don't want <laughs> that smell so you know sometimes vinegar smell is so overwhelming so to clean my coffee maker there are some parts that are removable or detachable like the kettle here you can remove and just wash it but for these other parts let me show you Like guys, this part and this part, they are removable. You can remove them and wash them. But for the uh, for this thing, I cannot wash it because of course it's going to the power electricity and all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this here and then pour my vinegar, like a cup of vinegar. You need a cup of I 
then just pour it in here. I'm going to pour in two cups of uh, regular tap water. Like so. And then just put it on. Then let it, you know, self clean itself. So I will let the water boil for around like around 10 minutes so that you know the longer the better so that it cleans the inside part and then for this part it has already been <laughs> hot for this part i also clean with a little bit of vinegar some dishwash uh, dishwashing soap and i mix it with water so as this one is you know cleaning i'm going to clean my other kitchen appliances So this part guys as you can see it's like brown in color it's not white and if you look closely you'll notice there are some particles so I did not put the kettle here because I did not want it to smell uh, like the vinegar but look here guys this is what I was talking about if you look closely see sorry you look closely you will see even you know those particles especially if you have like brewed um white chocolate or white coffee you can see even here guys so you will always always need to do this like maybe once in a week but look at my finger here okay let's focus yeah it's coming right from here so Let's clean this one because I need to change this water, remove this vinegar water and then just put in clear water to, you know, get rid of the vinegar smell because you wouldn't want your coffee smelling like vinegar. So I'm going to remove this and then just pour in some uh, plain water to clear uh, up that vinegar smell. So I will do like two more rounds then i'll be done what will be remaining for the inside part it's just too wipe and i'll be done but for this part i'm going to add some dish soap and then try scrub that off so guys if you have a coffee maker you know we have this one problem with coffee makers this part where i'm scrubbing right now it's where the kettle normally is and so if you do not go in like on a weekly basis, if you are a person who loves coffee and brews their coffee all the time, you must be doing this on a weekly basis so that, you know, this part does not rust. As you saw mine, that was just like a week's brewing of coffee. And you saw that part, guys, it's already brown in color. So you have to do this on a weekly basis. And for the rest of this uh, coffee maker, I'm just going in with this sponge that we use to clean the utensils with a little bit of um soap dish and also some vinegar mixed with water and just gently scrub on it and then wipe it down remember guys do not use like wash it the, the normal way you would wash your utensils look at that guys this is why you should be washing your coffee maker look at mine this one is coffee that was stuck somewhere in there so when you do this it comes out then look at my water guys you guys saw when i was putting in this water oopsie yeah look at that water guys you guys saw when i was putting in this water it was pure clean clear water now it looks as if it's quite dirty so I'm going to pour this and then put in more water and then rinse this. As you can see the coffee marks are gone so I'll go in again and scrub see if this one will come off but as you can see it's way way clean than it was before when you want to get off the darkest ground 
But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Is this a mixture of um, vinegar, water, and dish soap? This is what I'm going to use to clean my clean this. Uh, what is it called? Toaster, because as you can see, it's greasy, it's not looking nice. They always recommend to use a damp cloth to wipe, but because mine has like uh, Red particles stuck in here. I want to go in and scrub softly with this side. Whenever you are cleaning your kitchen appliances, guys, always remember not to plug them in because you know electricity and water do not mix. Do not plug them in, guys. And when you are cleaning your kitchen appliances, I always always recommend guys this use some vinegar water. And a little bit of soap dish if you are like you know you do not like the vinegar smell alternatively you can also use some baking soda and some vinegar or you can also just uh, like use a damp cloth and wipe them off guys so you do not have like to go out there to look for a cleaner to clean your kitchen utensils if you have some white vinegar at home some water and some you know and if you also have some vinegar baking soda and water and some soap dish just mix those and then go in and clean your appliances guys and as you can see guys i'm using a kitchen uh dishwashing scrubber to scrub this um my toaster and this toaster guys as you saw earlier it was really dirty so that's why i'm going in with this uh dishwashing scrub to just scrub it off and as you notice guys i'm using the soft part of this scrubber to just scrub of all the particles that were inside here. I'll be using a mixture of both vinegar, water and a little bit of soap dish to clean my kitchen appliances. I'm using this mixture guys to clean almost all my kitchen appliances. Because this vinegar leaves that shiny on your appliances that I really like. And guys, if you cannot like reach some parts of your kitchen appliances, always use like a skewer or you can alternatively use a toothpick or a toothbrush, guys. Buy a toothbrush and it will do just perfectly. Or I'll be showing you guys later on a brush that I bought that usually, like, you know, helps me reach these parts that I cannot be able to reach. Marvin Divine uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, yet I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating things on all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just do it, me gon' have you jealous, uh water i'm going to pour again and go in with the last um, water third water tool and then finally i'll just wipe it uh, down with some paper towels and i'll be done but look at that that's how your coffee maker looks like from the inside so we don't want to be drinking dirty coffee clean your coffee makers guys clean your coffee makers for my coffee maker guys as you have seen i have like thoroughly rinsed it with almost three i did actually four rounds of clean water just put in clean water let it boil remove it add in more water and once i was done with that i'm just going ahead to wipe it down because guys 
you do not want the smell of you know vinegar in your coffee maker just make sure that you have rinsed it very well and also dry it down just wipe it down to dry it because you do not want to store it while it's damp because it will smell guys so make sure that you have drained it properly and you know there's no water inside there something else i'm going to clean guys is this hand mixer and guys this one i have to clean it every week because i use it like almost on a daily basis in my home so like i have to go in thoroughly clean it because when you are like mixing your dough chances are you know it will drop inside there like i know if you have a hand mixer you know this guys like sometimes there are particles that go inside of this uh, hand mixer and it's very hard to remove so you can use a skewer a toothpick to help you remove all these particles or alternatively you can just give it a, a really good shake and you'll see all the particles that will come out of your hand mixer guys it's disgusting so always make sure you do this so that guys when you are making your next uh, dough or when you are mixing anything else it does not like come out and go into your clean dough so make sure that you clean this on a weekly basis and guys this is what i'm talking about look at all these particles they came out of that hand mixer so make sure that you know you go in there clean it properly make sure there are no like dry particles in there of of you know of dried dough If there's one kitchen appliance that I do not use that often, it's this rice cooker, guys. My rice cooker, I don't use it as often as I should be. I don't know why. Sometimes I just prefer to boil my rice than to use this rice cooker. And so I store it under my sink, guys. And in there, it has like accumulated a lot of dust. So I'm also going in to just clean it, you know, using the same mixture of water, vinegar, and some dish soap. And guys, I'm using this crunchy to scrub it because some parts of this um, rice cooker were really dirty. So it, need, it needed a good scrub so that, you know, they come off and this had to reach places. I'm just going in with a toothpick or a skewer to clean those as well. And guys, as you will notice later on, it will be quite shiny. <laughs> but I don't use this thing as, you know, often as I should be using it. Maybe... I should start using it uh, more often so that it doesn't get so dirty because it was really really dirty and you know dusty so I'm just going in to give it a good clean so that you know everything else is perfectly clean guys. Another kitchen appliance that I always wash on a weekly basis or clean it on a weekly basis, it, it's my fridge. And as you notice, guys, I'm not like deep cleaning the fridge. I'm just going in to wipe down. You know, sometimes, you know, you have particles in the fridge, you know, food maybe. You put some food in there or some stew in there. So I normally go in like on a weekly basis just to make sure that the fridge is clean and it's ready for the weekly restock that I normally do on Sundays. So before Sunday, I have to make sure that the fridge is clean so that, you know, I can do my restock. So I'm still using the same mixture, water, vinegar, and a little bit of soap dish to clean it. And guys, you can use a damp cloth to wipe it down.
Whenever I'm doing my weekly cleaning for the appliances, I always take this chance to like, you know, go inside that fridge. If there is any food that, you know, may might have like gone bad during the week, I just remove it, make sure that the fridge is clean. There is no like food in there that is rotten or that is smelling in there. You know, we want a clean and a freshly clean and also smelling nice fridge, guys. And one thing you can use um, for the order, if you notice that your fridge is producing some bad order, what you can do is just cut half a lemon, place it in your fridge. Alternatively, you can open up baking soda, place it in your fridge, and it will suck out all the bad odor. So guys, let me know what uh, do you use to clean your kitchen appliances apart from, you know, vinegar, baking soda, water and a little bit of soap dish. What else do you use to clean your kitchen appliances? Let us know guys so that, you know, we can also borrow ideas from you so that we can also incorporate them in our, you know, cleaning routines on how to clean our kitchen appliances guys. Let us know if you use anything else that is different from what I have mentioned here. Let us know. As you have realized guys, I have used this same mixture to clean all my kitchen appliances guys and my kitchen was smelling like vinegar guys. So if you do not like uh, the smell of vinegar, just make sure that you add in a little bit of um, soap dish. Alternatively, I see people adding in a little bit of bleach to just, you know, make sure that that smell is not like, you know, overwhelming in your kitchen. And guys, as you can see, my kitchen appliances are clean. Something that guys uh, you will notice I did not have um, my kettle here and also my microwave here but still I use the same to clean them. If it's the kettle guys just pour in like one cup of vinegar and uh, one cup of water, regular water. Put it into your kettle, heat it up for like you know 5 minutes or 1 minute heat it up. When it boils pour it out and then just rinse it guys but as you can see my kitchen appliances are very very clean and guys as for the microwave i think i have already shared uh, how you can clean your microwave and get rid of that order in my after party kitchen video after party cleaning video i mean that uh, hack is in there of, on how to clean your microwave but basically i still use the same mixture and then once i'm done i take a little bit of uh, water mixed with either lemon or vinegar and then i just put it in the microwave for around five minutes or five or three minutes let it boil and then let it sit in there so that it sucks out all the odor in that microwave guys and when you need to cry i'll be by your side call me whenever you need someone baby and when you need to escape from a thousand fires i'm gonna kiss you wherever you are and i'm gonna miss you i will never lie call me whenever you need someone so I'm going to organize my kitchen appliances back to where they are no, uh, where I normally like place them or store them and then go to my cooker give it like a thorough cleaning clean the cooker clean also the oven and we'll be done with this video guys. So I hope that you are enjoying this video. If you are kindly give it a thumbs up. You know you can share me out if you can you know guys. Leave a comment down below because by you liking the video and also commenting 
you are helping my video reach a wider audience guys and guys we are still on the road to 2k subscribers so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet kindly do so and let's keep growing guys for my oven guys i'll be using the blue touch oven cleaner because it does a good job the trick guys is to just leave it on for like you know spray it on and leave it on for around five to ten minutes the longer it stays on it the better it does the job guys so i leave it on and then come back to my like cooker area and just clean it i'll remove all these um parts that can be removed and like wash them give them a thorough cleaning and then guys this is the brush that i was telling you earlier i got this brush in quick mat some time back ago i don't know if they still have them but it has this small part where you know it can get into those like very tiny places that you normally not get in there with your hand it helps you do that you know scrub all these nuts scrub inside you know uh, these holes that are on your cook i don't know what they are called but scrub in there because guys these places have a lot of that going on so if you do not like clean them on a weekly basis try at least to clean them after two weeks or every month because guys as you can notice they really really store a lot of that so you just go in clean it up and then wipe it down and you know you'll be done with your cooker guys so i did went ahead and clean all these other parts that i had removed i just scrubbed them in the sink and i did that off the camera so i'm just going to return them and you know now clean the oven and i'll be done For my oven guys I like to clean it weekly, sometimes I do it on a daily basis, it depends with what I've been like, you know, baking in there or grilling in there. If I've been like grilling chicken or beef, I will clean it on a daily basis, but if it was just like regular baking, I'll do that, like I'll clean the oven on a weekly basis guys. And as you can notice, I had grilled, like we had grilled the previous day, so the oven was quite, you know, greasy, so that oven cleaner the blue touch oven cleaner does a good job it you know just leave it stay in a little bit longer they always recommend for two minutes but i always leave it in for five to ten minutes and it does an amazing job guys the last thing i'm going to be doing in the kitchen guys is to soak all the kitchen towels that i had used to clean my kitchen appliances because guys when i was cleaning i realized that i did not have any paper towels in my home or even servits so i just had to use my kitchen towels but if you have your paper towels the better because you just used and dispose but you know i used my kitchen towels so i have to soak them and clean them the next day guys that marks the end of today's video i do hope that you did enjoy today's video if you did kindly give it a thumbs up share me out if you can and i would really appreciate guys if you are not yet subscribed to this channel kindly do so we are still on the road to 2k subscribers guys help me get there we are almost almost there guys so if you are yet to subscribe i do hope that this is the video that has convinced you to subscribe to this channel and i would really appreciate guys so I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Do not forget to like the video, leave a comment and share me out if you can. Until my next one, love and light. Bye-bye.